in high definition. From your 24-hour news source, you're watching the KCRG TV9 Morning News. People see it as a user fee. The roads are bad. We need to fix it. A new gas tax hike goes into effect tomorrow, and political insiders wonder if it will cause backlash during the next election. We'll have more details on that story coming up in just a minute. First, taking a look outside our Cedar Rapids South City Cam. The skies are clear out there. They were clear overnight, and that made for some very cold temperatures last night that are holding yeah. strong into this morning, right, Britley? Yeah, we had record breaking cold temperatures again this morning in some areas. Now you have to wait for that. I'll let you know who broke that record, but temperatures this afternoon really, really get cold and or excuse me should say get warm temperatures right now are really really cold nine below right now in the Cedar Rapids North City cam and wind chills well it feels like 20 below that's because we have a very slight wind in the slightest it will feel ridiculously cold outside a wind chill advisory in place for most of us across the area don't stay outside for more than 10 to 15 minutes at a time it is really cold especially with those wind chills at 20 below right now here in Cedar Rapids wind chills in Waterloo at 21 below and 29 below in Tama. Throughout the afternoon, we'll progressively get warmer. 19 degrees as our high. That'll be right around 3 o'clock. Then we bring in chances of snow showers later on throughout the evening. Could pick up about a half an inch. So like you said, keep those shovels ready. Keep those snow blowers ready, too. Yes. All right, thank you, Britley. Well, today is your last chance to fill up your tank before that statewide gas tax increase takes effect. Earlier on this month, Iowa lawmakers voted to raise that tax by 10 cents. Starting tomorrow, Iowans will pay a little more than 50 cents per gallon in taxes. That's slightly higher than most states here in the Midwest. Only Wisconsin has a higher tax at about a penny more per gallon. Gas stations across the state were packed on Friday with people filling up before the tax goes up. The average savings for drivers will be around a dollar to a dollar and a half per vehicle if they fill up before the tax takes hold. Some drivers we talked to said they wanted to get one last cheap tank. I wanted to get my gas before it went up. One last tank full. I was down about a half a tank, so I thought I'd top it off and save some money. And to make sure he had enough gas to go around, the fuel manager at Marion Hy-Vee says he doubled that station's deliveries over the last few days. Iowa Republican insiders seem to disagree when it comes to possible political backlash over the fuel tax hike. During this week's taping of Iowa Press on IPTV, two experts were split on the impact that tax could have during the next election. I, I think it's scary that we have a state government that can enact a tax in 12 days um, that doesn't give any time for people to adjust their budgets. But to think that this is an overriding issue that should detract from us electing candidates in, in the coming years is just is ill-spoken. The Iowa Department of Transportation says the state needed that tax increase to cover a $215 million annual shortfall in funding for Iowa's roads and bridges. And now the department has some plans for that extra money. The list of projects includes an expansion of Highway 30 through Tama and Benton counties. The DOT says more lanes are needed on Highway 30 after the reopening of the Tama packing facility, Iowa Premium Beef. Other items on that list include widening Highway 20 in northwest Iowa and adding lanes and sidewalk trails to Collins Road here in Cedar Rapids. Family and friends of a Vinton teenager fighting for her life will gather for a prayer vigil this weekend. 14-year-old Emma Redlinger suffered a gunshot wound to her head in what police say was an accidental